how about like you can pick anybody for me to play that you think would be a good way to demonstrate your your Joffrey play style. Uh, hmm, anybody. Yes, anybody. I will say I prefer. Okay. Hard sell that one. Hard sell. Uh, well, I'll go first. As we do. Well, two. Uh. Well, two. Alright, uh, I'll boost, spending this to get in your face. Hello. Hi. I would have whacked you. Uh, let's see how it goes. Alright, I Ow. hit for six after armor. Uh, I take five. Yeah, anyway, I guess this is like kind of fine. Yep. Not the most fine. Oh, yeah, that goes down. Well, my character doesn't care about order. So. And you burn blood for blood, so that's not bad. Alright, uh, let's see. Da da da. Yes, strike. Alright, I will continue playing good cards. Okay, I will burn as many of them as I can. You take th three. Uh, uh, I take four. Three. Okay, I need to start the math calculation from the beginning. So I was here, and I took three. Okay, there. You took seven minus one, and then you took uh, six minus three. So you should be at 21. Yes. Yeah, I got confused. No worries, your turn. Uh, let's trade better. Hmm. Prepare. Uh. Greetings, Ace Ace Shock. Season two is amazing, isn't it? Let's get rid of these useless cards. Season yeah, three. Alright. Uh, Perry Crusader's Oath. Ooh. Don't got it. Uh, okay, so 236. Uh, Blades, Bastion, of course you have Bastion. I mean, you also have Bastion. Your turn. Alright, so the question is do I think that one of those two cards in hand is Focus? I'm going to risk it and say no. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Um, sure. Invalid. Uh, okay, I hit for 6 minus 1 is 5. Push you 1. Uh, I take 8. Lose this. My turn. Okay, so I know that hand. Uh, three, six, okay. blades, bastion, wild swing, please hold. Uh, yeah, this is eight power, sure. Uh, hmm. That's scary. I'm gonna trade with it using bastion's next. Yeah, I figured. Uh, so I hit for seven after I spend this, then I will take four. Uh, six, right? Six, yeah, because, yeah, two armor. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Um, and then, yeah, I take four, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, I drew my card, you retreat. Your turn. <coughs> Gotta go for it. Wow. That's a very hungry spike, isn't it? Or it's yeah. blades, but that's not very meh. Um, yeah. This is probably dumb, but 
Yeah. No. I mean, well, my both my hands are down. So yeah, wild swing, like... please hold. Uh, can't afford that. So spend life. Eh, I miss. Yeah, I take five. Generally, whenever I think a play might be dumb, but it's cool, I go for it anyway, mm -hmm. just to see if it's dumb or not. Reasonable. So I'll lose power. Uh, huh. Oh yeah, you're at three life, aren't you? That's yeah, relevant. It is. You can actually threaten uh, lethal here. Also, it's just, I it's just a very high proportion of you know things it loses to. I kinda don't want this cross in hand, so I'm gonna CC two. Okay. I think that was probably wise. Um and Sacrament isn't very good at closing games. Okay, so let's see. You have a lot of life. My odds are not good. Your odds are very good. Okay, advance one. Oh, crap. I forgot I had this. Uh, do you mind if I just pretend? Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. And then I draw for a turn. <coughs> All right. Uh. Huh. Why not? I'm gonna mm -hmm. boost this. Spending <laughs> some of your week. ample force. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, and I will boost this. Spending this from hand, this from gauge, I gain a life. Wild swing, please hold. Hmm. This would be 8 power. You'll have 3 armor automatically. So the thing is, if I don't kill you this strike, I think I lose next strike. Like, I think I lose the game next strike. So, based on that, I'm going to actually gauge this. Okay, it's more power. Oh good, since we have the same printed speed, you won't get the extra armor, which is actually a big deal here. Um, I have, well, after I spend a gauge for power, I have nine power and hit you for seven ar after armor and gain advantage. Ow. All right, we may just pull this out. Uh, my advantage, you got three life. Can I afford to... Oh! Retreat one. Yeah. Better. Uh... Hmm. I think I gotta go for this. Cool. Uh, to the viewers, Ace Shock, if you are interested in playing on stream, be delighted to have you and to show you the ropes of some of the... of the module and of the SF characters. Alright, you're EX attacking Boogie. Um... That's real bad for me. Okay, so Oath or Cross? Well, no, Cross doesn't win the game, so Oath is the likeliest thing by far. Uh, it's speed four, and you have other options, of course. But, like, by miles, that's what I read as the likeliest option. Wild Swing, please hold. Okay, so to beat Oath, uh, this beats Oath, and Cross. Here we go. Ow. Yep. Uh, good game. I deal exactly lethal. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you got like, like yeah, mo pretty much anything else would have lost. I think. I can't uh, think what else would win? I mean, well, cross would keep you alive. Yeah, cross would keep me alive. Block would keep me alive. Uh, would warding? Warding would keep me alive. Um, and then touch a divinity yeah. into. Uh. Oh no no. no. Because it's, yeah, because you initiated, so I can't hit you first and stun you, because that doesn't work. Um, yeah, so cross warding block uh, were the thing, and of course focus were the things that helped. 
So yeah. what, four, four cards out of the deck. But I think you had to do it because mm, I had to take <laughs> if, that if you don't do that, then I probably kill you on my turn. Uh -huh. Good game. Okay, I, uh, I read into your assault. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I probably should have read in addition just in case it helps. Yeah, just to bank, just yeah, to give it a shot. No, that mm, makes sense. I just don't think of read in all that much because I don't like read in. Ah, uh, yes, I recall that. Uh, good game. Okay, so I entirely can see that this is a brawler Jeff play style for Jeffrey, Joffrey, whatever, um, and that you did not play him at all as a zoner. So he totally can be played that way. Um. I think that the, I think Crusader's Oath is weird because it's neither a zoning tool nor a brawling tool really. Um, it's a control tool, and that I think is what kind of pushes him away from being a pure brawler uh, more than the zoning tools. Because uh, I, I think that you I see it as like a control tool that fits into a brawling playstyle cleanly. Fair. To me, it feels like the odd thing out, um, and these like the control place. Like to me, it's like the brawling tools work in his control play style, and then Crusader's Oath is a control thing, which doesn't seem to fit into a brawling play style. It's weird. That said, um, I think that your brawler Jeffrey is more efficient and more effective than the zoning Jeffreys I've usually played with. Um, so probably better. Of Take course. It. Some characters make everybody a zoner, but Imogene isn't one of them because you can't really zone Imogene. Like, despite having no movement, she has, a, like, she just always is in your face because she has the resources to do so. Um, yeah. <laughs> immobile, mm, okay. but always in your face. Against Imogene, I feel completely fine brawling. She's Makes scary sense. brawling with yeah. her crazy power wild swims with her transforms. Yep. But, yeah. Yeah, it's high stakes, but it's. You know, you don't have to zone her, and zoning her isn't necessarily going to help. Um, so that was interesting. I do, I do think my opinion on jo Joffrey has shifted after seeing that. I still think he can adopt a zoner line, and that it is not a, like, and that it is an effective way for him to play. Um, but it's, but I'm wondering if maybe it's not optimal after all. So, it's interesting. Well, I'm glad my attempt to convince you has succeeded at least partially mm -hmm. yep you you have per you have changed my minds although you have not completely changed it as it were uh, and it was a fun game it was interesting good 